simple video, kind of like just bare bones, basic ideas of chords. So, so like a major chord is like this, and then you lift this finger up, that flats the note because the nut now is fretting the, the chord. That makes it sound sad, so it's minor. So it's E major, E minor. And all you do, a bar chord, is your finger is now becoming like a capo. So, so then you move it up one half step, and that's an F major, and this is an F minor, okay? If you go up one more half step, that's an F sharp, okay? F sharp minor, and so on, okay? Now, those, those are for E string root bar chords. A string root bar chords are based on two other shapes, like this shape is known as an A major shape, and this shape is known as, as an A minor shape. But hold on, isn't it the same shape as an E major shape? That's what people always say, like, why is it major over here and minor over here? Well, it's because of this B string. The B string is tuned down a half step, so it throws everything off. So you have to account for that by bringing every note up, okay, on the B string. So this is now a major shape. This is a minor shape. And if that's confusing, just take it at face value. And when you strum uh, an A string root bar chord, you strum from the A string, okay? So this is an A, this is an A minor, and again, you, you come up one whole step. This is an A major shape. So you look at this shape to tell whether it's major or minor. And here's your root note. Now you can call this an A sharp or a B flat. Sharps and flats, you can exchange the names, okay? So it depends on what key you're in and, and uh, anyway. But this is a B flat. Now if you want to make it minor, B minor, B flat minor, B flat major, okay, F major, F minor, okay, that's the way bar chords function. So I wanted to give you just that on bar chords and then